Hi, this is Ashish Shankar and I'm happy to take you through brief insights of the first edition of Alpha Strategies in 2019. I wish all of you a very successful and pro prosperous 2019. If 2018 has taught us anything, it has taught us that predicting is very, very difficult. Uh, as Buffett says that forecasts tell you more about the forecast than forecaster than about the future. And that's precisely what we saw in 2018. Uh, the large cap index Nifty ended positive, but if you look under the hood, there was a carnage in small and in mid cap indices. Uh, the currency, depre Indian rupee depreciated quite sharply, which also led to yields spiking across the board. Uh, however, by the end of the year, the yields had yields have cooled off and for the year, government bond yields have ended flat. However, corporate bond yields are still trading at very, very elevated levels. Valuations have come off very, very sharply in the small and mid cap space. We've also seen valuations fall in the large cap space, albeit uh, much lower than what we saw in the small and mid cap space. So going forward, what do we expect? It is customary to give out predictions at this time of the year and take stock of the last year. Uh, however, like Howard Marks says, it's very difficult to predict the future, but in his latest book, Mastering the Cycle, he also says that it's very important to know where you're in the cycle to determine what kind of risks you are willing to take at this point in time. So let me give you a summary of what we think where we are in the cycle in India. We believe that at best you are in the mid cycle of uh, an economic cycle in India. If you look at various indicators like inflation which is at very very modest levels, crude oil prices have come off uh, quite sharply towards the end of the year. Capacity utilization uh, in India is at very very moderate levels although we see it inching up gradually across uh, industries. At the same time if you look at economic growth uh, we are closer to 7% uh, which is not the best we have seen if, if you look at the last 10-15 years of Indian economic uh, history. So our view is that uh, we see uh, economic growth picking up from here uh, maybe marginally because there are also global headwinds that we have to be cognizant of. We also see capacity utilization picking up across industries. Valuations are at very very reasonable levels. In fact valuations I can argue is, is pretty cheap in some pockets of small and uh, uh, mid caps. So it's a nice time to actually uh, be invested in equities. If you still have room to increase equity allocations I think this is a good time to make use of the volatility and finish your equity allocation. We were messaging you to gradually invest if you remember over the last 12 months but however given where valuations are we are very very comfortable. Yes there will be volatility as we go into a general election year. I think uh, depending on the way the election results uh, swing uh, markets will react very very sharply but going by uh, our past experience I believe that this reaction will be very very short lived and markets will eventually align to fundamentals and eventually align to the direction of the economy and company earnings growth. Uh, re uh, fixed income investors have never had it better. Real yields are very very attractive. Inflation in fact has been averaging uh, closer to 3-4% to in the second half of uh, 2019 and you can still build a very nice corporate bond portfolio closer to 8% through mutual funds like accrual funds or, or FMPs. So you should invest right away according to us. Uh, uh, real yields are very very attractive. Uh, however, I am going to speak more uh, about uh, something something fundamental that, that, that we recommend to all our client families. Uh, looking at the kind of volatility that we have seen last year and this is not the first time we have seen uh, a crisis uh, unfold. We have seen it in 2013, we have seen it in 2009 and we have seen it in 2011. Now whenever these kind of crises uh, uh, unfold, uh, people become uh, pretty uh, risk averse and you know sometimes we also take take uh, irrational decisions which in hindsight, hindsight look foolish. Now one of the ways to uh, not take such decisions during such crisis periods is to write down what your longer term objective is and build a portfolio around an investment charter. So our resolution for 2019 is we would like to discuss this ch charter with every client family of, your, of ours and ensure that we customize an investment strategy and approach. So I urge you to speak to your investment advisor and find out more about the process of building an investment charter and get one done for, for, for your family as well. Uh, the reason is that 
volatility is is normal in uh, markets but the only way you can stick to your longer term goals and your investment strategy is by having an investment charter in place so hence we call this ed, uh, alpha strategies the year of the charter and i hope uh, you know you can speak to your advisor and uh, uh, build build something which suits your long term objectives so wish you a very very uh, successful 2019 and thank you very much